That's what really is the core of this talk. About 40%, there was this lady where a neurosurgeon said, I mean, a general surgeon said, we have to operate you, take out part of your thyroid because it's, it's cancerous. Fortunately, Jean took her to another doctor and the other doctor said, nothing, it's just an inflammation. But the first surgeon was ready to operate. It's dangerous. Everything seems to require a medicine, a drug. In my early days, which was many, many years ago, <laughs> if you had a cold, all you had to do was wait five days because the cold is self-limiting. In five days, the virus will disappear. In fact, some wise doctors became very rich because every time a patient would come with a cold, they would say, okay, take an aspirin every day and then come back after three days. They, they would come back after three days still with the cold, take another aspirin, come back in five days. When they came back in five days, they were well already. They naturally had to be well. But today, we take everything. We get a little bit of, of a sour stomach. We take thumbs or milk of magnesia. Everything that we have, we have to take medicine for. Why? Because you are bombarded every day with advertisements. The pharmaceutical industry is, uh, what do you call that? Is uh, controlling your mind, brainwashing you to believe that you can do it yourself and you can take medicine and e everything that you need is available. And that is again one lie. I've observed the hospital system is also very bad for our health because I think they are hooked on to the use of equipment. And I understand that doctors have a quota and they have to make use of the equipment of multi-million uh, peso worth of equipment that hospitals have. And uh, I have a friend who died recently because this, the dye that was injected before he's put in the CT scan, he was allergic to it, and he, he died in, in the machine. So that's another thing I think we have to be very wary of, besides the pharmaceutical industry that you mentioned. Thank you. Well, that, that's still part of the medical scam. I would refuse to uh, confirm or deny your uh, assertions. But I'll tell you, it is highly possible, if not probable. If you are a member of a hospital staff and the hospital bought a 20 million piece of equipment, it has to be amortized. It's a business. And therefore, you will probably be given little, some recognition if you keep on telling pe people you need that test. It happens. <laughs>